What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, MBJ Live, your soulful nutritionist. Help you to get the best diet plan for the rest of your life. Listen, you guys, I'm going to get straight into it. I'm not going to give you no one, two, three minute uh, lecture in the beginning. Straight to the point. How to, this is your, this is the one of the most important guitar lessons that you will ever encounter in life. I'm musically inclined, so I just, I just start strumming with it. I just start strumming with it, right? Me unaware, not knowing, okay. Then I say, okay, well, let me take some guitar lessons. So I go on YouTube, I'm looking at good YouTube, so I'm like, okay. So I see the so one of the videos and say, okay, you got to play a G chord. So I'm playing the G chord with the third finger, the second finger, and then I take the fifth finger and sit it on the high E. I'm on the low E. So I'm here, here, and here. Sounds good, don't it? So I'm strumming all six strings to get that uh, the G major. So you hear that? Ah. So now that my third finger is on the E string and also is rubbing on the A string. Okay. No bueno. Guitar lesson number one. I don't care if you've been playing for 60 years, 70 years, just picking up a guitar. I, I, this is the, the most important guitar lesson. This is A string, but I'm on the low G. You hear that A string? Why is that? Why is that? So, I bought this guitar from Guitar Center. Of course, it was like, I forgot how much it was, but with the tuner and the guitar, I played a hundred and some dollars. Okay, bought a nice little cheap little guitar sitting on a rack. But what they don't tell you is that buying guitars, purchasing guitars is like buying shoes. You have to go in, you try the shoes on to see if they fit or not, even though they may not be your size. You, even though you may have a 10 and a half, you wear a 10 and a half in men or women, but you still have to go in and try on a shoe. Even though it may say 10 and a half, you still have to what? Try the shoe on. Why? Because different shoes fit differently on the foot. The same thing applies to the guitar. This, is, this was not a very valuable lesson that I learned. It was a cheap, still valuable lesson. Because guess what? I just wasted a hundred and some dollars on a guitar, guess what, that I cannot use. You have spent hundreds and thousands of dollars, oh my God, I gotta get that new Fender or that, you know what I'm saying, I gotta get that new Butch, uh, uh, Butch Damon, Butch Ramsey uh, uh, bass guitar, I gotta go get that. You go get it, but look, Butch uh, Ramsey, Damon Butch uh, Ramsey, uh, real good uh, guitar, bass guitarist, that dude fingers is like super freaking long. So guess what? He can afford to get six, seven, eight string freaking neck guitar. Fingers, the shapes and sizes of your hands, the width of your hands, the density of your fingers, all of that is like shoe size. This is what you call the nut. This white part here, look like it's ivory. This is what you call the nut. This nut here is a one inch and a half in in in, in uh, diameter and in, in width is is long. One and a half inches long. So what I need is two inches. I need two inches. Why? Because my fingers are fat and they're dense. Look at my hands. Look at my fingers. Look at the neck. Look at the frets. There is no way that I am going to be able to play this guitar effectively and right. Why? Because the glove don't fit. One of the most valuable lessons that you have learned today. Now I know some of y'all are pissed right now trying to figure out like, man, how can I figure out how to play this guitar? How can I figure it out, man? And my fingers get, he, keep hitting the, the, the A string. And, and when I want to hit the E string, it, it keep on hitting the A string. And I want to hit the A string, and then it, it, it hits on the B string. If I want to hit the B string, it keeps on messing with the G string. And if I want to mess with the G string, it keep on messing with the high E. That's because you got the wrong guitar. You heard you got the V shape, the C shape, uh, and then you got the U shape on the back. 
of the guitar here. This is number one. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care how long you've been in a rock band. I don't care you soft rock. I don't care what kind of guitar, lead guitar, bass guitar, acoustic guitar. I don't care. Make sure that your hand fits the shoe. The guitar is a shoe. What? When I went to Guitar Center, I'm like, hey, so I'm asking questions. Obviously, I'm green. Nobody say, hey, let me check out your finger. Let me check your hands out. Well, this is not the guitar for you, sir. I'm going to highly recommend you, you get this guitar with the nut is two inches long. Why? Because of the, sh the, the length and the density of your finger. No shade. But Guitar Center is not like your shoe store where you walk into a shoe store, hey, ma'am, sir, how can I help you? What are you looking for today? I'm looking for, you know, this and this and that and this. Oh, I know what size you wear. Let me go get a pair of shoes for you. They do have a different fit, so they're going to educate you. So I went in green and I walked out green. So now I am no longer green. I've been educated. How? Because I've educated myself. <laughs> That sounds good because I'm still cheating. Why? Because I'm using my thumb as my pick. Yes, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from me, MBJ Live. That is your most valuable guitar lesson that you will know. I got to go and get another freaking guitar with a two inch nut for my fingers so I can feel more comfortable when I'm playing, um, playing the guitar. So thank you guys. Uh, please share, please subscribe to my video, MBJ Lives, and share the video if this has been helpful for you. I know it has definitely been helpful for me. So share the video.